Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host Frank the Tank and today we're going to talk about keyboard and mouse combination wireless and I'm going to talk about a couple of them. I'm going to talk about pretty much three or four depending on the time we have. So stick around and let me know what you guys think. We're going to talk about the MK710 Logitech. MK710 it's pretty much the bulkiest one I have here. So we're going to start with the biggest one first. All right. So we're going to open it up of course. I want to make sure that you guys can see what you're going to get on the box. Uh, I'm gonna try not to open all of them because it takes a long time. I just want to get to the the grunt work about this, you know. So let's see how it really reacts and everything. So I pretty much used every single keyboard and mouse that I'm gonna talk about, but we're gonna talk about this big monstrosity. So this keyboard is one of the largest keyboards I have and I owned before. It comes with, of course. All the batteries included in there it has a little yellow thing that you just remove the attachment and the batteries are active it's regular um double a batteries that that come included with it it has two kickstands in the back for two different sizes there's a larger kickstand and a smaller kickstand so depending on how you want to raise the keyboard there's two different attachments two different versions of it not a lot of keyboards have that feature they only have one pretty much kick out and this one it has a lot of information. It has battery information, time. It has a lot of calendar. You could program things to work. You could macro keys to uh, work with your keyboard. If you're playing games, you want to program certain keys to do certain things. Um, it's one of the more durable keyboard out there, but it has failed me more than any other keyboard that I have. Um, not this version. This is a brand new version, so we're going to try it out, see how it goes. But they tend to last more than a year after a year I start seeing failures on it because of the dust and the dirt and the food that goes in between these things that damages the whole thing so that's probably the reason a lot of these keys, keyboards and mouse failure now let's take a look at the mouse so the mouse itself it's very very small very durable it fits my whole hand um, there's two buttons on the side of it there's uh, of course the clicking buttons and there's uh, another feature here in the center for the mouse you can actually click on it and it locks in the rolling keyboard now if you don't click it it, it combines it into it makes it smooth keys so um, it comes with the battery it's a double a battery in here there's an off and on switch they give you the usb because this is not bluetooth it's a usb wireless you lose the usb you pretty much permanently lose the whole keyboard now there is a solution to bring back in in in, in case you lose those usbs you can always obtain a different one and reprogram those usb there's another whole different feature about it if you want more information i can include a video on it and give you a little hack about how to retrieve that stuff and but it would have to be a similar usb to this uh the same frequency as this so the mouse and keyboard combination is pretty good for it but um most of the times when you buy a keyboard the mouse is not very good now here it's the vice versa the mouse is pretty good and the keyboard is pretty bulky now the keyboard has a little additional um little base in the bottom for your for your actual palm when you rest your palm in here it's may may very ergonomical um it lifts itself there's two different layers like i said two different ways of lifting it's a pretty neat keyboard um all the same functions that you're gonna find in any other keyboard now this one's like i said this is the bulkiest one i own right now and it's the biggest one from all of them so let's take a look at the other ones now we're going to talk about the hp classic it's a desktop classic wireless device it's one of those mid-range one it's just durable so let's take a look at it let's open it up now the keyboard itself it's half the size of the other one of course let's open it up half the size they include the batteries in here it includes a manual but the system itself there's only one kickstand in here pretty much it's the little kickstand right in the back there's two kickstands actually but um only one of them for one size so if you want to raise them there's only one level that you're going to raise up to your fingers now the keyboard itself there's a, a, the functions are actually on the side of the keyboard instead of the top like every single other keyboard there's function keys in here to turn off calculator audio video and um, also to turn off and play and, and record and then also you can add additional macros in here the mouse itself 
it's a pretty tiny little mouse. My whole hand fits in there. It's it's just one of the smallest mouse I ever seen. Like I said, every time you want something, it doesn't match the other thing. It doesn't match. The mouse itself, they didn't concentrate too much on it. You know, they concentrate more on the keyboard than the mouse uh, for refining it because I find the mouse is it's it's cheap material. It sounds it feels like a cheap material, but it's one of the cheapest keyboard mouse. Now the mouse itself, it's there's only two buttons on the top and the rolling wheel. That's it. The options are minimum. So I will put more information and all the um, information and costs on every single item I'm going to talk about. So this HP is one of the probably the cheapest ones that you can find on the market, but it's simple. It's simplified. It makes people's life easier in some places. If it's for office use, it's perfect. For gaming, no. Now. This is one of my favorite keyboards of all of all the wireless that I am display here because it's made out of aluminum. It's pretty durable. It lasts for a while. It's a Dow keyboard, believe it or not. So let's open it up. Now the keyboard itself, it's very slim. It's very small, very durable. Like I said, um, there's aluminum base right around of it. Um, the, there is no kickstand because the battery base it, it actually lifts up a little bit so it could feel like it's actually elevating it's a little small it's quiet keyboard um, it's one of the smallest one and one of the most durable keyboards I have owned for a while uh, it's very slimmed down version of it it sounds like it's it's just one of those things that they made for uh, it's a double a battery of course it's a it comes with the batteries they give you the batteries in so it's one of those slimmed down versions of it. It's a triple A battery keyboard and mouse. So it, it, it is included in here, the key, the mouse and the wireless and all the devices, the USB and the, and the actual batteries are included in here. Now the mouse itself, I'm not a, quite a big fan of the mouse, but it's okay because uh, it does its job. So the mouse has one additional button on the side of it. And it has another one on the other side. So you have durable dual buttons on both ends. And then of course you have your punch down left and right. And then you have the rolling wheel. You have to click down the rolling wheel. Now the mouse is very small too, but it's, it, it fits your hand perfectly fine. And now this combination, they both fit well because they have the aluminum base. Now this is not aluminum on the mouse. It's, it's only plastic. It's made to seem like it's aluminum. It's a very durable keyboard mouse. It seems like you could drop this a hundred times and you could keep going with it. Um, the mouse and keyboard combination are pretty good. I mean, this is what I pretty much distribute to a lot of users out there in the field because it's one of the things that lasts a while too. Now, like I said, none of these are able, capable of doing anything if you lose that USB. Now, none of them are Bluetooth that I just talked about. These all, they all are USB wireless based, all right? So make sure you understand they're not Bluetooth, all right? Now, one of the best wireless keyboards and mouse that I purchased and I still own, I've probably had this for two or three years, two years, I will say, going on two years. And, but there is no key, there is no mouse on it. It's just a keyboard. It's a wireless Logitech. And the best thing about it, there is no batteries included. There is, it's a slim version of it. For traveling wise, it's one of the best ones out there, but it's pretty large. It takes on, it has the 10 keys on the side of it. It's the largest keyboard I have. It's a little dirty because I've been using it. It's my primary for one of my computers in here. Now, there is an off and on switch. There's a, actually uh, input for to see how much battery is in there. The built-in batteries charge up pretty quickly on a, any kind of normal light. The, there's two solar cells here that you could actually charge up. There is no mouse for this one. Of course, you can't have a solar mouse on this one, but it's one of the best keyboards I have. It's very durable. It's very, very rugged too. And uh, I dropped this maybe 10, 10 to 20 times on the floor and it still runs. The cells, cells are pretty good. I mean, they work on minimum light. Uh, as long as you have some sort of input of some light, even the regular lights can uh, uh, charge it up. Now, I had ran into an issue a while back when the rainy days where it wasn't charging very good. So I ended up putting a lap right on for it and it worked well. The keyboard itself, very responsive. Um, it has all the functions that you need pretty much in here with the exception of a mouse. Like I said, this is only one of the keyboard that I purchased without the mouse accessory, but it's one of the best ones I've used because there's no batteries. You never have to change the batteries. Now, 
they tend to die out in a couple years, you know, with the built-in batteries because lithiums don't last forever. But after that, it, it's going to serve its well and its purpose. So, one of the best keyboards I ever purchased so far. And if you like more information about what I just talked about, make sure to subscribe. I'm Frank the Tank, and you've been watching Upgrade.